this is Lucy and welcome to a Fallout 76 Building 101 video. This camp is the English Country Cottage and it was kind of serendipitous that halfway through building this I got Cat, Catherine Swan, the new companion on the scoreboard who is very, very English. <laughs> so I've sort of made it her house. I will give you a quick tour. We are down in what I refer to as the meadow, which is down um, just down the road from Alpine River Cabins. Here we are on the map. It's quite convenient for the Mothman event. The ground is quite uneven here, um, or there are there are a lot of um, plants that you may need to weed suppress using confetti or whatever you want to use. That's what I normally use. You can sometimes use doormats. As you can see, I have used the um, air quotes hedges. I think that on their own they look a bit silly and they're a bit too thin and I didn't like the wood underneath. So I found a way to um, cover that by using these half walls on top of the foundations. And you will actually find in the UK, especially in England, that um, you do get hedges on top of walls. <laughs> Obviously, as most of you are American, I don't know if you know, the country I live in is the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Great Britain includes England, Scotland and Wales. <laughs> Ireland is a separate country. Um, so yes, so the UK is England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. So we just go by UK generally, it's a lot easier. But I know it is confusing. Obviously, I double walled this and used the brick wallpaper. You could just put single walls and um, just use the brick set. But obviously, I have used some of these are from the Halloween set. The spooky house set. I have, I was feeling kind of spring-like, I guess. I'm, I'm ever hopeful that we will get spring. It's Our winter's mostly been wet and windy. Um, we don't really get snow where I live because I'm in the southwest. So I've put some uh, tulips and uh, daffodils in the lawn. These are window boxes I made using the... Um, supply crate stash box i got that from nuclear winter but i believe you can still get it in game from certain events i merged it with these daffodil pots and it is on a shelf we have a little hallway i have tried to put quite a bit of clutter in here I did use the saloon doors here, here because there's so much stuff in here it is difficult to get doorways in and these do not go beyond the uh, doorway so they're not sort of cutting into furniture. Um, one of the things that's traditional in um, English country houses or cottages is what's called a, st um, a stable door so you have um, the top and bottom open separately or you can latch them together and open it as one door. Those usually go outside though, to be fair. <laughs> I have merged a regular cooker cooking stove with these units. It's pretty much the same as anything I've merged into these. If you have a look at the um, video I did for the um, pop-out kitchen house, uh, the pop art house kitchen <laughs> that will I use the same method to merge this in I do like these new candles 
I didn't use the Thanksgiving table. I just, it was too big. I couldn't fit it in. But I did use the chairs. So it's a fully functional kitchen. It is fully fitted. This is the circus trailer door. It is quite a small house, um, so it was difficult getting everything in. Oh, here's Cat. I have put her in something a bit more appropriate. <laughs> I gave her a planetarium, which I thought was appropriate, and this poster. Um, she's doing something very weird with her chair, unfortunately. I have made her quiet, so you can't hear her talk over me <laughs> I have managed to get quite a bit of stuff under the stairs mostly through the use of mats and flamer trapping so it's just I feel it's just such a wasted space so <laughs> these are some of the newer wallpapers that I think that came um, out the same time as the um, spooky house set I have tried to cram stuff into every little corner. This is the bedroom. Obviously I live with cat. I'm don't ask. <laughs> if you have a problem in a room like this by getting the furniture on, take the roofs off because otherwise it will appear on the roof. I really like this um, wallpaper. It worked really well in here. And the painting goes really nicely as well. I have obviously given Cat the alien plushie. We have a little reading nook down here. There is another planetarium here actually, which I don't think it's on. Hmm. And maybe it won't go on for some reason. I don't know. There we go. It always happens when you're recording. Traditional bathroom with a bath. Cat, cat's not great with the cleaning. Not really her thing. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the build. Strangely enough, I did try and, well, I think it happens to all of us. We start a project. It doesn't go how we want it to go so we abandoned it and I did actually start trying to build this project about six months ago and um, the pieces just didn't work for me so um, yeah so recently I thought hmm maybe it's worth revisiting this so I have revisited it <laughs> and I think it worked really well I think the problem I had before was the only upstairs windows we had are from the contemporary set and they have a white window frame um, and it just did not look right to me. Um, this style of house actually would probably be 18th century. Um, it's the sort of, sort of Jane Austen type era that these would have been built. So between 1780 and 1840, um, pre-Victorian so um, Georgian period I didn't really know what to do with the workshop I had considered putting a garage on because obviously these days a lot of these houses have been modernized so I didn't know what to do with this area so I just put a courtyard out the back it's got plenty of space for all the benches um, obviously the foundation is slightly lower here and I had to account for the space to get the um, the outer wall here above on top of the foundation so but I will show you how to do that right so I hope you like it I am going to import this into my building world and uh, show you how to build it so I have cleared my camp and um, we put my camp widget down I have put one foundation down here just sort of lining it up I lifted one of the floors on my house to put the camp widget in the middle of the camp 
the house is two by three as is the garden and I used these foundations I am actually going to change these to a pattern with a direction so that I can make sure all my foundations are going in the same direction see this one isn't so the garden is also two by three I'll just swap this up to show you this is the house I did put a step at the front to lower this what I usually do is I take that one out, lower this one and then put <laughs> if it will go there we go obviously if you want it lower just do it lower whatever you want really Right, we are going to put walls on the outside. I'm not including the um, back part yet, but I will make preparation for it. I will put a foundation down here that is lined up with the other foundations. Now, to put these on, you are going to use the catwalks, or you're going to need the catwalks. I think they are actually still available your foundations do need to be a certain height if it's too low it might be difficult to get these on just take a half wall I tend to use the barn but you can use any of the walls really and it should just snap on like this So go all the way all the way round and put these on. So I've been all the way round. The only one I haven't done is this one here. We are now going to double wall it. I used a combination of the brick and the spooky house set. I happen to be rather partial to this door. Um, as we're double walling these, we will obviously need to use doorways. that will not double wall that is weird because I thought I tested this when it came out <clears throat> right okay <laughs> you can pretty much use any wall and um, then just swap it out so I will use the trusty barn set If you are short of resources, I did also make the um, side walls brick as well. For the interior, we need a wall here. Whoops. Come on. I have found that um, it's difficult to get the stairs on adjacent to a double wall. So before putting this wall in here, I am going to put the stairs down. Now I really wanted to use these um, haunted house staircases. 
but you can't walk up the last step if you have a double wall underneath it. So I'm just going to put a regular just default staircase in for now. Then put that wall on. This is the kitchen area and we need a wall here. This layout actually is pretty much the same as my Scandi house downstairs. You might be wondering why there isn't another foundation here. If you do a double wall, you need two foundations either side. Because of the lower wall, the outer wall is snapping to that, so you don't actually need a second foundation around the outside. So, I will change these up. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been having problems sometimes where it will not swap walls. If that happens to you, sometimes fast traveling helps. Or if that doesn't work, I'm afraid you'll have to log off and on again. And hopefully that will fix it. So all of the walls on the back are windows and the two on the front that are not the actual front door. If you don't have this build set, you could try using the contemporary. But obviously I would suggest that you use the contemporary front door and do the whole thing in contemporary. <clears throat> I did use brick on my original building for these, so I will swap this out to the brick. Right, I'm going to add wallpaper downstairs. This wallpaper I think came in one of the seasons. There have been so many that I can't remember which one it was. Season three or four, I think. It's the dungeon wallpaper. I quite like it. I actually like it better than the brick. I used it on my muse house because you've got these sort of mossy bits. It's just got a bit more interest, I guess. Textural interest. You're going to want to do the bottoms as well. If you can't select these, try and point your cursor at the top of the wall and you should be able to put the wallpaper on. If for any reason you need to take one of these walls off where this wall is underneath, you can't until you remove the lower wall. For the inside, this needs to be a wall. I always use the barn for the internal walls because I like the white door frames. I used this red wallpaper, which is one of the White Springs set, for the hall. and the cream version for the sitting room. And for the kitchen, I used the vintage shelter wallpaper. I think that actually came, I, it's been so long since I've had some of these things, I'm not sure where they came from. <laughs> just realized may have a problem getting this floor on because of the wall when I put the ladder up I should have put a floor up as well just checking my floors are going in the same direction right you can put the wall back on now <laughs> 
Just going to put floors in the obvious places, i.e. over the holes. If you can, I hate these floors. I have said this in pretty much every video I do because they never just go on neatly for me. Sometimes it's easier to do it from underneath and then when I try that it doesn't work either. <laughs> Right. This is for the bathroom. This is the door for the bedroom. And this will be a wall as well. What I tend to do with these now is... I tend to use the door trick, but we will end up having to move that ladder to do the sloped wall there in a minute anyway. If you haven't seen this, put a door in. Oops. Convert the door to doorway to a wall. Remove the wall. Then you can add another doorway in the outy position because doors have two snapping points and you can put that one in like that the inny that will be a plain wall now we are going to have to um put half double walls on if you haven't done this seen this before basically go around I always do the inside first as in I have the pieces facing inwards to start with this one is going to be a pain you will see why in a minute Right, basically you now need to flame a trap or get a friend in PvP with you to destroy all of these half walls. So just go round. And flame a trap all of them. So you should have something that looks like this. Now because all of these walls are double walled, you don't need necessarily to have another floor piece on the other side. So you can just put the half walls around like this. Now this one here in the bathroom is going to be a problem. Now we can't put a doorway in there because obviously it's a half wall. So quite often the easiest thing to do is just take another ladder, lean it up against that wall like that. And that thinks it's attached to the floor piece up there. You can take this ladder out. The other thing you can do is you could put a double wall under here. I have found that sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't because of the staircase. So if you just take the staircase out temporarily If you don't have marsupial, just store the staircase. You want to be shut in at the top. <laughs> then get your half wall like that. And you can take that out and just put your staircase back. But we're probably going to have the same problem again with the 
wall. <laughs> I know it's gone on. <laughs> I know it's because the floor's the floor's there. That's fine. You just can't put a floor here if there's a double wall underneath. Right, you can either go to your camp widget and, and repair all or just go around and repair the walls. I am building this in a custom world. I have a custom world for filming that pretty much the only thing I've changed is the weather. And that is the only difference between this and a regular server. Now, obviously, some of these walls we want to have windows in. So I will go to the... Is this the right? Yeah, there we go. Spooky set and just change those to windows and the same here. I'll do the outside in a minute. We need to get the eaves of the roof on. Now, if you're doing a double sloped wall, one of them has to be a brick wall. Oop, come here. I don't know why this only works with brick, but you can do this when you flame a trap the other parts. I'm just doing it separately to show you. And we will need one here as well. You need to flame a trap these now. I tend to put my flame a trap on a stash box. I'm actually going to put it on two stash boxes so it doesn't destroy the lower wall. Quite often find it's difficult to um, put a flame a trap on two stacked things, but if you just put it on one thing and then stack that, um, it seems to work better. So we'll just destroy these. The brick walls are actually very tough. <laughs> They're tougher than some of the sort of high-tech walls. If you want to build somewhere where there's a lot of enemies, brick or metal seem to be the strongest. Right, now all you need to do is put another one on. You can use the brick, and everyone says this only works with the brick. That is correct, except you can put the second wall can be anything. Just the first one has to be brick. But in this instance, I am going to use the brick because I think it looks more attractive in this build. So just double wall. And then repair your walls. Now we need to add the roofs. I used um, the spooky house set. Oh, didn't know they'd do that. That looks a bit weird. <laughs> I suppose it makes sense. <laughs> I put... I put dormers on the ends and a plain roof in the middle because they have now given us a plain roof to go with this set. Every sloped roof used to have a dormer in it, which was just not always what you wanted. They can be a bit of a pain to get on. Sometimes it's easier from underneath, sometimes not. Oh, it's working. I have had a 
problem in a couple of builds. Um, I think the pumpkin, uh, pumpkin cafe, um, where I can't get the roofs on after I've double walled. If that ever happens to you, um, take one of these off so you can snap the roof to the to a single piece of triangular roof and um, double wall it after you have the roof on. So it's starting to look like the cottage. It is starting to get a little bit dark. I'll put my pit boy light on. Actually, I did recently <laughs> get Scarlet. Um, the Mr. Fuzzy Mining Helmet. It has a much brighter light. Right, we're just going to finish up out here. We are going to get rid of this ladder. Convert this to a window and this one to a window. And just add the brick wallpaper. Obviously we need to wallpaper the upstairs. I will leave that to your imagination. To um, put the um, back porch on, we have this foundation that we placed earlier. What we are going to do is we are going to the 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 ground here is very uneven I'm afraid <clears throat> we're going to lower this one you might need to put some weed suppressant down now obviously I can't get <laughs> okay I can get that one in how peculiar it wouldn't let me do it when I first built it if you can't get this foundation in just take this foundation and just pull it out a tiny tiny amount and it will go on um, it was just when I did it I would like this slightly lower actually when I did this, the first time, um, I didn't bother um, putting the wallpaper on this part, but you just had that sort of grey strip here and I didn't like it, so. Ah, the vagaries of 76. <laughs> It works one way one day and a different way when you're filming. So that is pretty much the back porch. I have throughout um, used the dungeon floor on the outside and I think I used this in the kitchen as well. I just used the metal fencing around um, the outside. I put gates at either end. I can never find the gates. There they are. And you can put steps up if you want here. You might find, as I thought, you need to put the steps on before you put the gates on. There we go. I also put steps here and here, I think. Right, it is getting dark. There's so little left to do that um, I will carry on. Now, 
to get the hedge hedges on obviously the hedges will not go on because of these walls so all you need to do to be able to get them on is flame and trap the walls here you're not going to damage the foundation so we will just flame and trap that go around do that just on the ones where you're going to put the hedges so it should now look like this then all you need to do is just snap the hedges on top then if you go to your camp widget and repair all the wallpaper and the walls will reappear with the hedges on top and you lose that horrible wood effect wood strip under the hedges to finish the front garden I turned these into the dungeon. I actually used this in the kitchen as well. I used some of the sort of reddish parquet flooring for inside. For the grass, I did not use the AstroTurf. What I actually used was this green carpet because I thought the texture looked more like grass and I liked the colour I thought it went better with the hedges I will show you what the AstroTurf looks like by comparison if you don't have the green carpet then it's fine you know do it do it this way um, I think the only other thing I have to do is put the gate on and I used obviously the um, That's the fence. <laughs> there we go, the gate. Now it won't go on. Yes, it will. Right. No. Great. That's that's interesting. It should go on over a staircase. I just did it um, on the other one. Don't know if it's the. It will go on. It will go on. It's just being. Let's just take this off a sec. And we'll see if it's the... No. I think... Oh no, there we go. That is interesting. <laughs> because of the... Um, problem I had at the back was completely the opposite. Here we go. Let's just put... It might be because the second, the step foundation was a bit high. The trouble is, whenever you rebuild something, especially in an area with lots of lumps and bumps, you can never get it in exactly the same place. You will just need to experiment. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Maybe I didn't have a step there. You can obviously always walk up a foundation, so it's not really a problem. So, I hope that all made sense. I think it made sense. If you want to swap the stairs out, just select them and replace them. I use this staircase because... Oops. It's the double wall. It works fine with a single wall, but if you have a double wall behind it, you cannot get up it. I mean, you can jump, but... So, we have this staircase instead. So, wallpaper to your heart's delight upstairs. And, uh... Yeah. 
It's now pitch black, but the chickens sound happy. And my turret hasn't killed them today, which is, you know, a plus. So I hope you like this house. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching.